So, like, and then someone said, but in the first century, didn't you heal? But yes, the answer was yes. But, but very rarely when I was asked to. Can, do you understand why? Because most of the time you're asked to, the person who, who's asking you wants to heal, wants to be healed physically, but doesn't want to deal with their emotions. And what caused their illness? Their emotions. So, so, you know, if we've got a... And, and you may have a passion for healing. Let's say you have a passion for healing. Do you have a passion for healing and your own life being a mess? Or do you have a passion for healing and your own life is healed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a passion for healing and your own life is healed, well, that's fantastic. That's then your passion. Mm -hmm. Follow your passion, just like any other passion. But if you have your own life as a mess and you're healing others, then what's that telling, saying to you? need to heal yourself. Yeah. There was a, in the Homecoming book, uh, John Bradshaw mentions a lady who visit, who came to him. And he listed off all of these things within the, this was in the first few pages of the book. He listed off all these things that were going on within her life. Uh, they were all to do with, um, you know, issues of being raped and, physically, and sexually abused. And guess what she did as a job? She was a sexual abuse counsellor for women. Yeah. Yeah. So her attraction as a job, and that was her passion, but it was a, her passion only because of the emotion that she had yet to heal within herself. And you'll find that yourself as you grow too. Your passions will change because you'll realise that the passion you had or that you thought you had was actually driven by a desire of something you needed inside of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a passion at the moment which I've totally turned my life around to do, mm -hmm. and that is to help parents teach children how to feel at a very yeah. early, early age yep. by allowing feelings to yep. pass, be passed through and expressed and yep. um, supported through. So the question then becomes, am I choosing that job because I don't allow my own feelings and this is a way for me to work through that issue. Or am I choosing that job because I allow all of my emotions and I'm very passionate about that. Well, so, yeah, I have always been a feeling person. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, but it's, it's that sense of there's so many children that aren't allowed to feel. Mm. And so, and then thinking, well, what's the connection? Is there a connection? Or, yeah, don't, you don't need to think too much, though, honestly. Like, if you're in a job at the moment, you're a healer, and you're there for a reason, right? Now, the reason is probably to do with your law of attraction, right? Let yourself be triggered. Let yourself be humble. Feel every emotion that comes up with every client. Isn't that the opposite of what they tell you to do when you're a therapist of some kind? You know, to detune or de detach or disassociate from your client? Don't do that. Do the opposite. You're in that job for a reason. The law of attraction is at work. Let your emotions be triggered. Be humble. Let and desire all those emotions.